welcome back to the MOSFET physical operation. Next, let us discuss the third step of MOSFET operation where we apply a small drain to source voltage VDS. The figure shows the positive drain source voltage applied along with sufficient gate source voltage. The device here acts as resistance whose value is determined by gate source voltage. The voltage VDS causes a drain current ID to flow through the induced channel. The current is carried by the free electrons traveling from source to drain region. The magnitude of the drain current depends on the density of electrons in the channel, which in turn depends on the magnitude of drain source voltage. Specifically for gate source voltage equals threshold voltage, more electrons are attracted into the channel. The result of applying gate source voltage and drain source voltage is increased conductance of the channel region or equivalently reduced channel resistance. In fact, the conductance of the channel is proportional to the excess gate voltage VGS minus VT also known as effective voltage or overdrive voltage. Thus the drain current flowing in the channel is proportional to this overdrive voltage or in other way we can say mathematically ID is proportional to VGS minus VT into VDS. In this step, we can show the plot of uh, drain current versus drain source voltage for various values of gate source voltage. From the characteristics plotted, we observe that the MOSFET is operating as a linear resistance whose value is controlled by gate source voltage. The channel resistance is infinite for VGS less than or equal to threshold voltage and its values increases as gate source voltage increases with respect to VT. Once the gate source voltage is increased above the threshold voltage, the channel depth increases and hence the name is given as enhancement mode operation and the MOSFET is called as enhancement type MOSFET. Finally, the current leaves the source terminal IS is equal to that of the current that enters into the drain terminal ID and the gate current IG equals to 0. The fourth and uh, last step of MOSFET operation is the one with drain source voltage is increased with implicit gate source voltage. We can observe from the figure that as we travel along the channel from source region to the drain region, the voltage increases from 0 to VDS. That is VDS at source end equals 0 and VDS at the drain end equals VDS. Next we can note that the voltage between gate and points along the channel decreases from VGS at the source end to VGS minus VDS at the drain end. That is to find the voltage at gate and point along the channel at the source end it will be VGS and at the drain end it will be decreasing to VGS minus VDS. The channel depth depends on this voltage therefore the channel is no longer of uniform depth. As VDS is increased the channel becomes more tapered and its resistance increases correspondingly. Now let us consider the situation where in which drain source voltage is increased to the value that reduces the voltage between the gate and channel at the drain end to threshold voltage Vt. The channel depth at the drain end decreases to almost uh, zero and the channel is said to be pinched off. This condition can be interpreted as Vgs minus Vds equals threshold voltage or equivalently Vgd equals threshold voltage or another equivalent form is drain source voltage equals Vgs minus Vt. When drain source voltage equals VGS minus Vt, the drain current thus saturates and the MOSFET is said to have entered the saturation of operation. VDS sat equals VGS minus Vt is called as saturation voltage. Let us consider this with an example. Consider VGS equals 3 volt and drain source voltage equals 2 volt. The voltage at the gate and point along the source end which is equal to 3 volt. The voltage at the gate 
and the point along the drain end equals 1 volt which is VGS minus VDS which is also equivalent to threshold voltage. This implies that the channel is pinched off. The operations explained so far is as shown in this figure. Next, ID versus uh, VDS characteristics for enhancement type NMOS with VGS greater than VT is as shown in this figure. We can observe that for drain source voltage less than saturation drain source voltage or overdrive voltage, the curve is almost a straight line with the slope proportional to the overdrive voltage. The region for drain source voltage less than saturation drain source voltage is called the priority region. As VDS approaches VDS uh, SAT, curve bends almost because the channel resistance increases. Once drain source voltage is greater than VDS SAT or saturation drain source voltage, the current saturates because the channel is pinched off at the drain end and drain source voltage has no control over the channel. This region can be used as an amplifier. Further, channel variation is explained by taking another example in the next slide. In this example, we can see that the gate source voltage is kept at uh, 3 volts, whereas drain source voltage is increased in steps. And we can observe it, the gate source voltage at the source end and as well as drain end is as shown here. So for drain source voltage equals 0 volts, the voltage at the drain end will be 3 volt. When the drain source voltage is kept at uh, 1 volt, the voltage at the drain end will be 2 volts. So we can observe here the drain source, dra the voltage at the drain end is almost decreasing. So for drain source voltage at 2 volts, the voltage at the drain end is almost equals 1 volt which is equivalent to the threshold voltage which is a pinch off voltage what we say. So this is a point at which the pinch off will start. Further increasing in drain source voltage, say for drain source voltage as 3 volt, the voltage at the drain end becomes almost 0. So this shows that the device has entered more deep into the saturation. Further increase in uh, drain source voltage, the voltage at the drain end goes negative and we can see more pinch up in the drain end. Taking another example for VGS is equal to or gate source voltage equals 4 volt and drain source voltage is varied in steps. So here also we can observe here when drain source voltage is 3 volt, the voltage at the drain end is 4 volt. When the drain source voltage is increased from 1 to 2 volt, the voltage at the drain end decreases from 3 volt to 2 volt. And next step, we can see that when drain source voltage increases to 3 volt, the voltage at the drain end is almost 1 volt equivalent to the threshold voltage which is a pinch off. So the device is gets pinched off at the drain end. Further increase in drain source voltage decreases the voltage at the drain end and device enters more into the saturation region. So from these two examples, it is clear that once we fix the gate source voltage, the same thing is explained with this diagram. Once the gate source voltage is kept, increasing drain source voltage from 0 to beyond uh, VGS minus VDS, the pinching off will start when drain source voltage is exactly equal to the threshold voltage. So this ends up this lecture on MOSFET physical operation. In the next lecture, we shall derive the mathematical expression for the drain current in both triode and saturation region.